Montego Bay Marine Park was created, the reefs were in trouble. The Montego Bay Marine Park Trust is meeting the challenge with the limited resources but boundless determination. Our first priority is to protect the reefs. Mooring buoys have been installed in the bay to prevent damage from carelessly dropped or dragged boat anchors. Park rangers have also helped the community to understand both new fishing regulations in the park and existing regulations protecting endangered species such as sea turtles. Rangers also investigate and help to contain and clean up oil spills and other hazardous material accidents. The Parks Outreach Program is active in 25 local schools organizing educational boat tours and summer camps, assisting with annual Earth Day fairs, and involving volunteers and community groups in beach cleanups. Staff regularly make presentations to school classes, community groups, and concerned citizens in workplaces and churches to help them understand the value of marine resources and the relationship between their daily activities and the health of the reefs. In the long run, the best hope for success lies in the education and inspiration of the new generation of Jamaicans. With the help of both Jamaican businesses, donors and government agencies, the Marine Park Trust will oversee the development of two interpretive tours through mangrove forest in the western portion of the park in the Boog Lagoon. These tours will ensure the preservation of threatened stands of mangroves, increase public awareness of the importance of coastal mangrove growth and provide alternative employment for displaced fishers and their families. Montego Bay Marine Park is a national treasure for Jamaica and part of a great storehouse of value that has only recently begun to be explored. With a lot of help from its friends, the Marine Park Trust will continue to preserve and increase that value for the sustained benefit of the nation and the world.
The walkout took place when Councillor White asked... I thought you all might like to see what Jamaican TV is like, so I taped a few different things. White shared his concerns about... Here's a part of the nightly news. ...since July 15 last year, when the majority of councillors voted to remove Mayor Alston Hunter. Since then, the matter is still before the court. Councillor White said as a form of protest at the slow speed at which the matter was being resolved, he would be walking out, and if any other councillor agrees, they could do the same. He then walked out along with the PNP councillors. The meeting continued with the four JLP councillors. And thank you, Bishop Gibson. Now, best this of is the school's challenge quiz program. The action. Now, section one, in section one, we of course have one point for each correct answer, and we have briefed the teams already, so we get straight into it. And we begin with Bible knowledge. Which Old Testament prophet spoke about a fig tree that, was, that would not blossom? Ezekiel. Incorrect. Habakkuk. And Bible knowledge for Spanish Town. Which Old Testament prophet had a vision of a basket of summer fruits? Mm. Correct.